G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope you are super well. We're here to talk about the ZF firmware 1.10. But wait a second, did Nikon sneak in also a ZFC firmware update? We're going to talk about that right at the end because it's really minor. And later on in this video, we're going to talk about the size of the ZF firmware update. And we're going to compare it to the Z6 II, the Z8, and the Z9. And yes, there are two changes. One is added slow motion video recording, and the other is fixed an issue which the viewfinder live view display may not show correctly under some conditions. Now I want to talk about that second one just for a minute. This is something that's pretty rare. Often we have these minor bug fixes. The first one is not a bug fix, that's an addition, but the second one is a bug fix. And of all the bug fixes I have reported on, this is actually the first one ever that I've actually experienced, I think. Now, I was using the ZF every single day whilst I was away for almost three weeks. I was using the ZF intensely and it's possible now that I've seen this bug fix it's possible that I was actually having this occur but if it was addressing potentially bringing your eye up to the viewfinder and sometimes it would not react to you being there now that's something that's happened to me in the past but it can be a tiny piece of dust or your eyepiece is not exactly in the right spot and the sensor doesn't work correctly. And I just kind of put it down to that. But it looks like it was more than that. And I'm pretty excited to see that Nikon very swiftly, because I think this camera shipped only a month ago, we've already got a firmware update giving us one new feature and one bug fix. That's really cool. Now the new feature to the best of my understanding, what that does is when you play back the video, you have the opportunity to play it in slow motion rather than playing it at normal speed. And that's kind of helpful because then you can see if your slow motion was what you wanted. Now, it's not really applicable in this situation, but if you do want to check your camera's firmware, all ZFs will be on 1.0 unless you've got a very special version. Turn your camera on, press the camera menu button, select firmware version in the setup menu, and it's down the bottom of that menu, and then check the camera firmware version. That's how you know you need to update. Of course, again, not applicable in this particular instance. And because the ZF has been such a wildly popular camera, there might be new users to Z or even new users to Nikon watching this video. Hello and welcome to the channel. Let's quickly talk about how you update your camera's firmware. Number one, download the following firmware file to your computer. Please make sure you have the downloaded firmware file on your computer zf blah 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 dot bin that's the camera's firmware using a card reader copy the bin file to a memory card that has been formatted in the camera be sure to copy the firmware to the root that's the topmost directory of the memory card if the file is not in the root directory, it will not be recognized and you will not be able to update. Three, insert the memory card into the camera and turn the camera on. Four, select firmware version in the setup menu and follow the on-screen instructions 
to complete the firmware update. Once the update is complete, turn the camera off and remove the memory card. Now the update can take three, four, five, maybe even six minutes. Just be patient and wait for it to end. Then you can go back to that menu again. You can check that the firmware update has been successful. And something else I just wanted to touch on in this video is the size of these firmware updates. We can see here that the ZF, this is the first time we've been able to see the size of the ZF firmware. And it is 85.95 megabytes. Now, if you've ever had a look at your Z6 or your Z6 II, you will see it's quite different. Here on the right, we have the Z6 II and the latest firmware update. This is 1.60. And we can see it is almost half the size at 46.83 megabytes. And I think this tells us something very interesting about XP6 versus XP7. It also tells us something else, that the ZF is very similar to the Z8 and the Z9. Here we can see the Z8 firmware update size. Now that might seem a little bit surprising, but of course there is a couple of features the ZF has that the Z8 does not have. But wait, now let's add the Z9 to the mix. And we can see here that it is the largest of the three at 93 megabytes. And of course, the Z9 has auto capture, the only camera to have it. And I think that's quite a lot of programming. There's a lot going on there. Please do let me know if you'd like to have a more in-depth video about firmware and what it might all mean. Alrighty, well, I hadn't noticed until now, until I was looking up the firmware for the ZF, that there has been a ZFC update as well. But it is extraordinarily minor, as we can see here. It has simply added support for the ENEL25A rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. That's it. That's all they've done. And we are at 1.50. It's fantastic to see that Nikon continue to provide regular updates, looking after their users and looking after their cameras as much as they can. Of course, there's always more things that more people want with their camera. We always want more. That just seems to be a little bit of a human thing. And we don't always get what we want. I mean, Mick Jagger made that very clear many decades ago. But please do let me know in the comments below, is there any particular firmware that you're looking for in your camera? Is it your Z5, your Z62, your Z72? I know Z62 and Z72 users would love to see more firmware. I have no idea if that will ever come. In the meantime, we're probably not that far away from Gen 3, which many of us expect to see next year which will be the four year anniversary of the Z62 and Z72. It's been so good to see you. Please do let me know your thoughts, your comments on firmware. How are you going with your ZF so far? Are you enjoying it? And what color did you get it in? And are you glad for the ZFC update? All right, it's been absolutely spectacular to have you here joining me for another episode. I will be seeing you very, very soon. I've got a lot of really interesting episodes. They're recorded, they're in the can, and 
slotting in as many as I can as quickly as I can. It's funny how this works sometimes. You're kind of working on a lot of videos in parallel and it makes things kind of seem like they're going slow and then suddenly you've got to get them all out and you don't want to put them all out on top of each other. That doesn't work either. It's been so great to have you here. If this is your first time here, I would absolutely love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like. All right, bye for now.